It is high noon on March 16, 2010, and the Tuesday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Caleb Benoit. Caleb, last week Governor Quinn gave basically his doom and gloom a budget address, and now you're seeing the fallout come down to the local level. Yeah, budget cuts, a theme in the news, whether you're talking about state government, local municipalities, school district, doesn't matter, they're all talking yeah, about The it. towns of Kankakee. Uh, Bourbonnet and Mantino all had board meetings last night, and that was a main topic of discussion there, and you can read more about it in today's paper. Mike, something else you can check out in the paper today is the Daily Did You Know. Mike, you come up with this every day. It runs on the front page. Nice little trivia. Today you're talking about the Chevy Camaro and how it debuted in 1966 with the 67 edition to compete with the Ford Mustang. Mike, why are we talking about something like that today? Because the United Way of Kankakee County is uh, raffling off a 2010 Camaro as part of its fundraising drive, so that's okay. going on. Meanwhile, we asked the uh, question in the newsroom earlier today, and the Camaro was the popular favorite, but I don't remember your answer, Caleb. What is your favorite muscle car of you know, all time? You know, I don't know if I have one favorite. Big fan of the Camaro, the Dodge of Plymouth offerings, Pontiac GTO, a cool car. You know, I'm down with any of them. For sentimental reasons, I'm going with the Plymouth Barracuda. My uncle, the late great Bob McSwain, the day he came back from a second tour of Vietnam, he walked onto a lot and bought a brand new 68 Plymouth Barracuda. Nice. And a little bitty Mike Fry remembers that like it's yesterday. That was one cool car. Very cool. Well, Mike, I don't know what the favorite muscle car of Sean Loftus is, but I do know he is a fan of radar. And he's our weather guy. He's going to give us the forecast. Sean, take it away. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sean Loftus, your videographer and weather guy for the Daily Journal, and I'm here to give you your AccuWeather forecast for the next three days. Um, two quick notes. One, um, as you know, Daisy the Doppler Dog, my occasional guest here on the weather segment, is going to have her birthday tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day, and um, she'll be here. Hopefully you guys can uh, blow a couple of birthday uh, kisses her way, etc., so forth. We have that. And then also, um, this is one of the best times to be a weatherman when you can tell people it is going to be in the low to mid 60s for the first time all week, stopping on Saturday actually. But um, we are looking at very, very nice weather coming up uh, in the next couple of days. So let's get started with today. We're looking to crack 60 with a high of 60 and a low of 35 later tonight. It's going to be mild with times of clouds throughout most of the day. It'll get partly cloudy skies later tonight. Um, that'll take us into tomorrow, which is Wednesday. We're going to go up a little bit to 61 degrees with a, with a hot, with a, that's, that's the high. And the low is going to be 39. We're going to have partly sunny skies throughout most of the day. A little bit of clouds here and there, and then it'll be clear up later in that evening. Um, then that'll take us into Thursday with a high of 63, a low of 44. It's going to be mild with brilliant sunshine. AccuWeather's words, not mine. Um, but the clouds will come back after a little while with partly cloudy skies later on Thursday night. So anyway, um, you guys take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day. This is Sean Loftus, and we'll kick it back to the guys in the newsroom. Mike, we are back, and in the business section today, you can find the investing column by Malcolm Burko. He runs regularly in our newspaper, often gives stock tips. One tip he gave today, Mike, was to buy stock in Burger King. Now, Mike, I am surprised that Burger King stock is not already through the roof with the amount of food you consume from that restaurant chain. Well, Caleb, as you know, I love the taste of a Burger King double cheeseburger in the morning, as you can see, you, I have it regularly. Do. Yes. I mean, was that from today? It was yesterday, actually. Oh, okay. You haven't had Burger King yet today. Yeah, I probably won't today, but oh, yeah, I do have it regularly. It it's only a couple blocks from here, Caleb. Come it on. Is. But, I mean, you, you consume a lot. Are you are you going to buy a, a double cheeseburger or stock next? What's, what's yeah, I'll buy the, the double cheeseburger and let somebody else benefit from uh, the benefit somebody else's stock by doing okay. so. How's that sound? That, that sounds good, Mike. You check out the column in today's edition of the journal. Subscribe by calling us at 815-937-3322. Till tomorrow, you stay classy. Here I am standing in front of the News at Noon camera and you call me, Robbie. It must be important. The one and only. Tell hey, hey, Caleb is fired up because you called me too. Sean's, ta Sean's taping this. Definitely look for the outtakes today, dude. Here, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Just say it. <laughs> is he carrying, what is he carrying on about? He ain't gonna do it, is he? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's doing it or not.